how to bring a positive insight in life that's the, that's a point when you look into the happy people when you look into the positive people when you look into the people who who are being extraordinary in their behaviors towards sharing and contributing irrespective of what has been happening on the outside so they said happy people are not with a certain set of circumstances happy people are not with a certain set of circumstances happy people are with a certain set of attitude with a certain set of positive strategies that's it the same environment if if i say uh, if if we have been in the same situation why some people are sad why some people are depressed but why some people are still very productive very active very much uh, thriving and striving why same situation same scenario same circumstances that's the thing as a need of certainty if the road is clear for me if i know what i'm going to do or what is going to be my future after 6 months and a year and a two year and three year i'll be a bit more engaged because i'm certain about something ahead what about if i'm been driving on a road and if i have to locate some of the place and i realize that i've lost my way i didn't know where i'm going to go whether this road will lead me to that might be you have experienced it how it feel like to you you feel worried you feel stressed you you didn't know whether you are heading in the right direction whether you are going to get how it feel like if you have ever experienced driving your car while there was all the foggy conditions you might have experienced that how much uncertain how much fearful it is that while you are driving and there is a totally a fog in front of you so that there is a need of certainty and that need of certainty how we are going to get it because uh, I mean to say because of shortage of time I cannot go much into that but I would ensure that there are something which we can do at our level and to see that some of the things which we are been facing fearful we can create our certainty by virtue of it so one is the need of certainty second thing as a human being there is a need of variation if this need driven me as a as a professional I get bored with the monotony of the job I feel like death if every day the same stuff I have to do day in day out because there is a need of variation is more driven within myself. Now if I I realize I had a need of variation within myself which which motivate me what should I do? I should be focused in creating and generating those opportunities around me that along with my job if I can work on some other projects which can bring that variation shade within myself it can satisfy me. So if this need is prevalent within you you can think about that the people who are being driven with the variation need can evaluate themselves these are the type of the people who normally don't go to the same restaurant they always try to get a different experiences they don't want to go for their vacation for the same place because it's a variation and they after certain period of time even the furniture is fine the curtains are fine they would like to change some environment around they would like to change their setup around because there's a need of variation which drives them but on the other hand the people who are driven with the certainty they would like to go to the same restaurant the same places the same uh, place where they are certain sometimes they enjoy watching the same movie again and again if they are driven with the need of certainty because they they know what is the outcome of it this is and this is a growth mindset now when i change the glasses now i can see every challenge is an opportunity to grow myself every mistake is an opportunity to learn something new everything whatsoever i am having if i continuously work on to it i can upgrade myself i can upgrade my thinking i can upgrade my skill i can upgrade my relationship i can think on that no one is lucky maybe some small factor of luck is there but i can create my own luck by continuously working on some of the things and continuously honing myself onto some of the skill set and some of my work will going to give me a give me a desired outcome and my personal belief on that effect that when i been go with a heightened self belief my potential to perform is increased when my potential to perform is increased i can take bigger actions in life when i take a bigger actions in life my bigger results came my bigger results also enhance my belief and this is a circle of continuously enhancing belief which can bring me a breakthrough sort of success in my life changing a lens growth mindset is a shift that we can upgrade ourselves growth mindset is a belief that i can change the things by changing the meaning 
by changing it, selecting my response. I can. And growth mindset say, I am responsible. It has a, it has a language which is say, I am responsible for each and everything what is happening right now for myself. Because I am responsible, I had a power in my hand to change. Fixed mindset say, I am not responsible. If I am sad, someone else is responsible for it. If I am not progressing in my life, someone else is a roadblock for me. If I am not got been able that sort of attitude and behavior, someone else at my back, my teacher or family or someone else was responsible for it, I am not responsible. Fixed mindset, not responsible. Growth mindset, I am responsible. And my dear friend, this is a common thing. I have read hundreds and hundreds and thousands of books, met with the most successful people in life, and I found them. They are the sole, exemplary, best thing. What they reflect is a growth mindset in their talk, in their behavior, and that's a simple thing. And that is the reason of happiness of the people. It's not the circumstances. It is their selected attitudes.